You going? All right, we're here with Ashley Rax. You say what you just said. I want to say so. For you. you can't hide from me. I don't care where you are. In the kitchen counter, on top of the kitchen table, anywhere the salt is, I'm coming for it. Even if I have to dehydrate and evaporate the whole ocean so that nothing left on the bed of the Atlantic seaboard is salt, so I can come and get it. I'm coming for you, salt. Realize how everywhere he mentioned was related to food. It was always in the kitchen. You train fat fighters. <laughs> 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 and speaking of fat fighters, he's fighting Hala Ham. Oh. Uh, <laughs> What do you think about him as an opponent? You think he's any, you think he's dangerous at all? Anything you see that you worry about? In my head, me fighting Hello Ham is round one between Ashi Raksu and Soul Pappy. Mm. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Cause I oh, because if you... Oh, you, know you know what I mean? So Ham, that's why you took Ham, it. Ham's skill set has been honed by a fantastic coach. However, that coach's knowledge has been imparted to right. Halal Ham. Yeah. So if I can dispatch of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at coaching the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've got what it takes to be a so happy. Okay, uh, okay, so storyline kind of. There's kind of a storyline. Halal yeah. Ham and so happy. Real talk. It's actually a question I wanted to ask for like ever since I've seen it get announced. Yeah. You beat King Kenny. Yeah. And then they offer you Halal Ham. Yeah. Loki, do you not feel disrespected? No, I don't feel disrespected. Purely because, like, I get the game is a game, and that yeah. uh, it's the clout awards as much as it's about boxing, right? Mm -hmm. So, realistically, you've got people that no one gets a big profile without working. Do you know what I mean? You don't get, you don't get like a million subscribers or a million followers about doing some stuff. So, the yeah. people who have got those big numbers, they deserve to be in the positions where they're at. Yeah, yeah. And so, I'm just not there yet, and so I have to kind of bide my time by making more content, making sure that when it comes to fight night, I put on the show. And then the opportunities, they will come. Because they'll run out of opponents, even this time around. Yeah. Looking at Soul Pappy, for example, it was a struggle. There's not many people that want to fight him. Yeah, yeah. Um, looking at Kenny, obviously now he's fighting AT, because there wasn't a lot of people that want to fight him. So I'm going to just do my thing. I'm going to do my thing and I'm going to get there. But no, I don't, I don't feel disrespected. I feel feared more than anything. Yeah. Because I only got the King Kenny fight because he thought he was going to beat me. And he looked at me like I was going to be an easy win. Yeah. So... Right now, no one sees me in that way. And so there's an element of fear. Do you know what I mean? If I was, if I was shit, Slim would have said yes to fighting me. Just as yeah. another whatever. Slim said no to fighting you? Yeah. Well, you, I'm, I'm sure you were probably on the Twitter space when that happened. I probably was. Yeah. I probably was. There's a lot that happens on Twitter space, isn't it? <laughs> but, nah. Okay, so you would want to fight Slim also after this? Bro, I've, like, openly said, anybody who has fought on Misfits, like, three times... Yeah. I'll fight anyone. You want a challenge? Like anyone from anyone who like 165 up to like 180. Like if they fought on Misfits multiple times, the answer is yes. And I can say that now, like with full confidence, after the Halaham fight, anyone who's fought on Misfits multiple times, the answer is yes. Between those weight categories, that's a big bet. Okay, in that case, final. Yeah, he's scary. He's scaring me right now. Look at what this man's wearing, by the way. Rate is fit. Am I drippy? So, um, if I was to rate Umbez fit right now, I would have to give it a strong 9.25 out of 10. And the reason being is we've gone with a classic look with a bow tie and also some suspenders as well. Of course, colour coordinated to match the black buttons that are on the shirt. The sleeves are rolled up just to let people know that he is a working man who's on smoke. He's not afraid to get his hands dirty in case yeah, anything not. kicks off. And the trousers are even brown. So if he does get dirty, it's not going to show up on them. The L is probably the trainer's though because he hasn't considered if he does beat somebody up and there's going to be blood. What are we going to do there? They're going to get dirty. They're going to get filthy. Well, you know who I fight? No blood's ever drawn from my punches. So you don't have to worry about that stuff. He's got a good point. He's got a point. He can't hurt anyone. No, nah, he's underestimating himself. As he should. He's shit. Maybe I should fight Umber. Umber? You know? You know, I I've actually got to go to Puerto Rico for seven years. Por que tu quieres viajar en Puerto Rico? Oh, shit. Okay. Nah. We're going to close it out with this. Final words for Halahem. Happy birthday, Fox! Ah, that was sweet. That was really sweet. Hey, why you still <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's it. He's gonna knock him out. Final words for Hello Ham. Um, yeah, sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs>